Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back from my trip from SF and I just want to make a video to show you guys some of the art related things that I purchased on my trip. So let's get started. The first day that I was there, I went to Japantown with my cousin and we had so much fun. We spent most of our time there and I was just so overwhelmed because the last time I was actually there was in 2007. So that time I didn't really look around the mall and this trip was the ultimate. I don't even know, like <laughs> we spent a lot of time going through each shop in there and I don't remember which shop I purchased my things from but let me just show you. So I bought this simple pouch and it just says United Bees Japan. And you know me, I love simple things. When I'm on the go, I can just put my pens, my water brush, I can put my travel sized watercolor set. And I guess this is like a pen loop, so you can put like a pen in here. The last thing I purchased from that store is another water brush. This one is quite different. It's a different brand and it says Brush 2.0. And I'm guessing the actual brand is Kuretake. And I purchased this one because my other water brush, it's like a medium sized brush, so it doesn't really get into the details. So this one is really good. This one is quite different from the one I have by Pentel. Um, this one says that you have to obviously twist the top off and then you get a cup of water and you just pretty much squeeze it to suck in all the water. And yeah. I don't know if you can take this black thing off, but that's what it says. So I'll try that. <laughs> so on Saturday, we went to the Ferry Building, and inside the building, there was a bookstore. And I wanted to purchase Wendy McNaughton's book called Meanwhile in San Francisco, The City in Its Own Words. I have this in a Kindle version, but I realized how much I would love to have the physical copy of it because I just like flipping through books that has illustrations. I just, I don't know, I like it better on paper than on my tablet. She's definitely one of my favorite illustrators of all time and this book just really, really, really made me want to move to San Francisco. And her illustrations are just so funny and just, I love it. And she just kind of talks about like the reality of SF and just the people that live there, you know, the different communities and it's just so awesome. I love her illustrations and the cool thing about the book is that the cover right here, let me take it off. The cover it turns into a poster and it is just so cool. So when I open it up, it just shows SF in her illustrations. It says the other bridge, um, critical mass, um, the mission, and then Dolores Park, burritos, hipsters, dog walkers, and just other stuff like that pretty much defines SF. So if you guys haven't heard about her or this book, you should definitely check it out because it is so awesome. I, I don't know how many times I've said it, but it's true. You should definitely follow her on Instagram as well, at Wendy Mack. She posts um, her illustrations on there and she's just a huge inspiration to me. I know she has other books and I definitely want to purchase those as well. Also at the bookstore, I purchased this cute, cute tote bag. And it says San Francisco and has an illustration of the Golden Gate Bridge the houses, like the painted ladies. And this says, I'm guessing this is an illustrator, Claudia Pearson. And I just thought it was really cute. I had to get it. And I've always loved tote bags with cute illustrations like this. I'll definitely use this a lot for when I run errands. So instead of having to pay 10 cents for a plastic bag, I'd rather use this cute thing for all of my necessities. Also on Saturday, I went to Muji with my cousin and San Diego does not have Muji, so every time I get the chance to go to Muji, I get so excited because everything there is just my jam, okay? First of all, 
I know I said that, I don't know where I said it at, maybe my Instagram or somewhere. Um, I said that I kind of promised to myself that I wouldn't purchase another notebook or sketchbook in a long time until I finish the ones that I have, but I couldn't resist. And these are only like, how much is this? Like 150 each? <laughs> I can't help myself. They're just really cute notebooks. And the thing I love about this is that it's just really compact and I can put it in my small little purse, you know, if I want to just make a simple doodle or just need to jot some thoughts down. So, I don't know, I just really wanted to get it and I promise, I promise. Or actually no, I pinky swear that I'll use these up. It's just very simple and I don't know why I bought two, just because it's so cheap and cute. So, yeah, uh, that's what I did. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. And then... I purchased another one of their pens. I have like three of their 0.38 pens, but this one I purchased, it's the 0.5, so it's much thicker, and I just love their pens. Uh, they're really inexpensive, and they write really well, and they're very inky, which is something that I love about pens. And the last thing I purchased is this cute, organizer on the tag it said bag in bag so i'm assuming you can use this bag to put in your bag the fabric it's just really soft cotton and it has so many pockets on the sides as you can see here there's two mesh bags right here in the front and then it has one with a snap closure right here and on the other side same thing, big pocket, and then two pockets here, and then two here. And then for the handles, they have this um, ribbon, and then a zipper for the middle part. So when you open it, look at that. So much space, like seriously, this is awesome. It has two more pockets here, and then another can see it. Another pocket here that's mesh and it has a zipper as well. Dang, I can fit so much in here. I can put all of my art supplies, you know, if I'm gonna paint outdoors or just other things like my iPad mini can probably fit in here. Um, my sketchbook maybe. I don't know, let's go see. Okay, I don't think it's gonna fit. Actually no, it does. Barely. <laughs> I don't know if you can zip it up though. So I put in my Stillman and Burn sketchbook and I'm pretty sure you can zip it up. Oh yeah, you can. What, what? So it can fit a lot of stuff in here and I'm just so glad I saw this because I love organizers. Look at this cute thing. Oh my gosh. And it's in the perfect shade of gray. So that is all for my SF haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. An update on my mini sketchbook. To be honest, I rarely had a time to work on it during my trip. I did a few pages, but I only painted one page, which you guys saw on my Instagram. So I'll be working on my sketchbook this whole week. Hopefully I can get a video out about that next week. If not, oh my gosh, just, Please be patient because, yeah, let me show you. I just, that's all I did right now, so. But I did plan out what to draw on each page, so I'll be able to fill out the whole sketchbook, and that is all. So create every day, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!